teacher with three heads, yellow blazing eyes. It looks sort of like my English teacher, Miss Nelson. How can you stand to sit there and waste your day like that? I'm fulfilling my destiny. Your destiny? That's the conclusion that I have reached. The conclusion you've reached? How did you reach that conclusion? Jerry Klein. Your little friend who picks his nose? That's not quite the way how I would describe him, but yeah, that's Jerry. We were talking the other day and we were saying that everything is predestined by God. Predestined? Yeah, it means God is all powerful. He knows all that's going to happen and he set everything into motion that's to fulfill his will. What does that have to do with your destiny and playing that stupid game of killing figs? They're figs, not figs. Do you believe that God is all powerful? Yes. Do you believe God knows all that's going to happen? I guess so. Do you believe anyone can do anything that is against the will of someone who knows all, controls all, and can do all? No. Then it's only logical that since I am only clay in the hands of Potter, that it was desired before the dawn of time that I should sit here and let my mind turn to sludge. Who am I to go against God's will? Praise be to God. What are you doing? Obviously, it's God predestined that I save you from yourself. Yep, God predestined that I turn off the TV. You can't do that. But I just did. It's obvious since God is all powerful and in full control, He has predestined my actions. This isn't fair. God wanted you to learn how to deal with an unfair life. Praise be to God. Where are you going? Oh, to clean out all the junk out of your room. What? You can't do that. Oh, yes, I can. It's my destiny. Why did you 